my Dreaming Soap. Now I'm going to be doing two soaps together here just because they're both made in a very similar way and they're both from my Sucker series. So I thought rather than having two videos that were pretty well the same, we just did a different picture, I'll put everything together. So as you can see, I have been busy extruding a whole bunch of things. Now this is going to spread over two soaps. And I didn't think you'd want to watch me extrude all of this. But what I do need to do is piece some of these embeds together to create the shapes that I need. Uh, now, some of them for one soap and some of them for another. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these orange pieces. This is going to be my for my soap that I'm going to have a clown car in. You know, when they have a ludicrously small car and they either have loads of clowns coming out of it or they have a big clown in a little car. I'm going to do the big clown in the little car. So let's go and put that together. Just pulling all the pieces off it that I need. Wheels. Okay. Let's put all this other stuff to the side because those are for other things. Now I've had to extrude my car in a few different pieces because I want things like a windscreen in it and some lights and you can't make holes in soap that you extrude as it were, so you have to cut it into several pieces and also I wanted this car to be quite big so I'm having a nice orange car so the first thing I'm going to do is going to take my orange bits and as normal I'm just going to join them with some nice clean fresh distilled water so this is what I'm using, this is going to be the base of the car and I'm going to put in some nice bright neon yellow soap dough to give me some headlights. So there's the outline of my car. Now I'm just going to spend a little bit of time smoothing out that crack and just making sure everything is joined together. I've made one of my embeds, the one for my clown car, and I just need to mix all of my soap up together. So it's going to be this nice lime green mica as it's going to be a coconut lime fragrance. My coconut lime fragrance is really lovely and it's from NI Candles in the UK. So I've got my oils, my lye solution, my main colour, my green. And then I've got tiny weeny specks of turquoise delight and clementine pop. And those are colours that are in my embeds. And I'm just going to use those so I can have a little bit of a swirl on the top. Okay, so let's just get this main soap mixed up. Okay, now all I want is the tiniest bit for the top, just so I can do a little swirl. Yeah, it's going to be plenty of that. Okay, I think those will be plenty. So I can now get my colour, my main lime colour into here. fragrance this is a nice slow moving fragrance now I'm going to pour off a bit of this OK, 
okay quite a lot I'm not sure if that's half or whatever just because I want a little bit to be a bit thicker so it can help me get those embeds held in place I'm just going to warm this bit a little bit in the microwave okay so I've got that bit a nice decent trace on there now and what that should help me do is I'm not so worried about the actual car itself but I want to hold my clown in position on the car I'm just going to get a decent layer so I can fill up between the car tires now my car is actually going to be sort of pretty well sitting on the bottom of the soap so I'm not going to wait for this to set up I'm just going to grab my car and let's pop that in and get that sitting down what I want to do is set my clown and I want it to be sitting on the car sort of over to one side as if it was driving it from one side like you would in a car okay and then I'm going to use this thicker batter to try and hold that in place Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I feel fairly confident that that should stay. So let's get the rest of this batter. Okay, and let's get this poured on the top. Whoop, don't move. in there and I've just given the top a little bit of a level off so let's just add those colours <laughs> and that made me think more of clowns so I'm going to leave it like that the end bar because I was going to swirl it, it's a little bit rough but I think that's okay because those ends tend to get chopped off a bit anyway but yeah I'm just going to leave it with the dotty top on it and then just put that to sea pop overnight <laughs> Thank you. 
those two soaps the next day so this is our clown car one with the spotty top and this is our acrobat on a horse one with the squiggly top so let's get these cut shall we <laughs> there he is there's our little clown car and I deliberately did the wheels a little bit wonky there he's come out really quite cute hasn't he <laughs> a little bit of a psychotic clown but then people seem to think clowns are a bit scary anyway aren't they there he is on oh, our little car so I can pull them down here <laughs> I really like him it's a happy jolly slope that coconut lime does smell really gorgeous as well okay let's go and have a look at the other one I'll cut the rest of that loaf in a second right so here's our acrobat soap Okay, let's have a look at these ones. Hey. <laughs> They've come out quite cute as well. I quite like my curtains at the top. I'm not sure if they really look like curtains, but at least do add something. The acrobat isn't quite on the horse's saddle, but do you know what? I'm all right with that. It's almost like they're doing a sort of acrobatic stunt in the air. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, so they've come out quite well so and again that black plum and rhubarb is really lovely fragrance of that so hopefully the colouring works out with that too and then I thought I'd leave you with a photo of the full collection of the circus themed soaps I hope you like these soaps and you've enjoyed the video if you have it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future why not subscribe to my channel thanks for watching everyone happy soaping